The weather report for tomorrow is that it'll be a beautiful, sunny day. And you'll see our luck there. We're feeling a little lucky. So, if memory serves how the generation for weather and luck are handled on any given day, so long as, like, it's not scripted to have a specific weather and specific day, is that the luck and weather I'm going to encounter on the 4th is based on the number of steps I ended the day with on the 2nd. So that is definitely influenceable. You know, just make sure you get your steps in. Important. The fortune teller. Spirits are in good humor today. I think you'll have a little extra luck. We shall see about that. Oh, hey, Clint. Are you here because I got copper from a chest? And the geode. Notice that you've been breaking some rocks open and finding ore. That's good. The dedication to come to me today, really. If you want to get the most out of the ores you find, you'll need a furnace. Just so happens I had an extra set of blueprints lying around. Here, I want you to have them. You hold them up to the sky, immediately get soaked. I can't read them. Learn how to craft a furnace. How dare he not have an old furnace, just like Willie had an old fishing pole for us. Furnace allows you to smelt metal bars. The bars can be used for crafting, construction, and tool upgrades. When you smelted a few copper bars, consider having me upgrade one of your tools. It can make your work a lot easier. Well, okay. I'm heading home. Take it easy. Farewell, Clint. These will not be something we're crafting now. I would have needed to put more effort into uh, acquiring money so that I could buy the copper ore to make that possible. Uh, as it is, we're just going to be waiting until we get our own copper ore. And not from... <laughs> and not from more fishing chests. Soon, though, we will we will have more convenient access to copper ore. Any right? Get to work, shall we? Gonna bring the hay with us. I also wish to craft a chest. I will do so right now. I think I might line this with wooden pathing. House, you do travel slightly faster on wooden paths. No need for a sign. Yet. Let's put this back. Uh, we'll carry the daffodil with me. Let's go visit the chickies. Hey! We're doing good. We got journal entries. Craft a furnace. Reach farming level one and craft a scarecrow. This is to protect your crops. Otherwise, crow crows may show up and snack on crops. And think about the monetary investment and the time investment you put into growing those. Robin, the local carpenter, lives north of town. In exchange for all materials and money, she'll construct new buildings in your farm. If you build a new silo, you can start harvesting your own grass at the scythe. And start to feed your animals. I doubt there's going to be a distinction between the normal grass and the bluegrass. Bluegrass seems like it's just going to be like an outside-only thing getting started. Now, so we get 100 gold for uh, harvesting an egg. Just fill these both up. Y'all have a... I'll have a good one. Be good. Okay? They're totally gonna be good. I have the utmost faith and confidence. They will be good. He said. Leaving them behind. <laughs> yes. They will be good. Okay, let's get some work done here. Yep, that explains the problem. Is that? I don't feel like having that tree there. It takes five chops, this normal axe. It's fucked up, man. When I get to, like, a quarter energy, I'll stop doing this, and uh, we'll spend our time fishing for the day, as one does. I'll get tortured by some catfish, because I'm definitely going to a river to fish. And uh, catfish can appear on rainy days, and at one fishing skill, as opposed to the... I don't know, like, three or four you could have after yesterday. Oh, fuck, I just take this down the rest of the way. Alright, put effort into it. 
And we got a piece of coal. That's nice. Uh, let's put that there. I intended to just use it when I walk away, he says, as he's looking at his energy. Scoop the stuff up. Now, none of this is, like, actually arable land for me. Oh, hey, Pinecone. But we're going to clear out some stuff here anyway. Work towards our foraging skill of two. Oh, plenty of stuff there. Being uh, pretty sloppy with... Uh, Keeping my inventory low to grab these things. That, uh... That second bag to double my inventory space is gonna be pretty meaningful. Let me get rid of that, too. I think so. Get out of here. You don't belong here. Go grow somewhere else. Damn it. I should've just left the daffodil and the fishing pole in here until I was ready to go. Okay. Well, now that I've squandered all that time, we're not going to be doing any axing or pickaxing as I go out. We'll want to keep the hoe with us. In case we run to any bits or bobs. Carry a chest, too. Depends on where I want to fish to slap that down. Let's head out. I think Haley stays in her room on rainy weekdays till noon and she like putters around her house she's definitely in there right now I'll fish outside her home Haley Lewis how's it going how you doing so how was your first night in the old cottage your grandpa used to complain about the rickety old bed but I think deep down he actually loved that house yeah he did I don't think I can zoom in without uh, this being lifted out. No catfish, no catfish, no catfish, no catfish. Okay. Can we go for that? Yes. Catch that. This bar has some physics to it, and you can end up ricocheting. Awkwardly so. All right, we've got ourselves a shad. Five coal and a geode. I'm not going to use the chest. Why did I carry the chest with me? <laughs> Because I hadn't decided where exactly I was going to fish. The hoe is there for uh, any Wrigley worm bits that could be an artifact or a lost book, which seem to be buried all over Stardew Valley for no discernibly good reason. It was clear that this whole village was falling apart until we showed up. More coal. Hey, that's useful. We have to use that to run the furnaces. That we're totally going to get set up eventually. Another chest. I and mean, we are feeling a little lucky, but... It hasn't been turbo luck. I accept. At least that's stuff that all stacks together. Look right there at the end. Okay, let's have a look at Haley. You good, Haley? Yeah, she's good. Don't you trade positions with Emily. Yes, for me, thank you. Spent all morning doing my hair. Now the rain could mess it up. Life is hard sometimes. It sure is. Anyway, that's how we win friends, Emily. I've heard rumors of rare and powerful magic rings forged long ago by forgotten civilizations. I'm not sure if it's true or just a fairy tale. Well, current Grimith knows. He also knows he has to take a momentary break. Ahem. Now that that's been done. 
We're gonna leave the screen. There are a number of areas where you can place chests safely across all the maps uh, where villagers will not walk. If the villager does walk into an item that you placed, it will be destroyed. Keep that in mind. Or don't. <laughs> Let your ship be broke. We're gonna pretend like that didn't happen. <laughs> Good, green algae. And go along the seaweed I caught yesterday. Alright, perfect. You'll love to see it. Not just more experience, but you get higher quality fish. I am starting to feel exhausted, it's true. Let's chuck this into our mouths. Let's also chuck this into our mouths. Ugh. The game pausing while you're eating. What a time to be alive. Hopefully it doesn't mind my new adornment. Willie will go to stand there. Elliot or Sam go to stand stand, like, somewhere around in this vicinity at some point over the course of the game. We also got some fresh Joja Cola straight from the straight from the river. That's not great, Grub. Neither the Joja Joga Cola blah, 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 or <laughs> that bar maneuvering. Let's have the flagship product of Joja Corporation. It gives you plus one speed for a little bit. remember that always being a thing. Well, that's unfortunate. Trash. We're gonna put that into the uh, the trash hole. Where it's destroyed forever. Oh, we can go sell these fish to Willy if he's behind the counter, if we want this money same day. But as I believe I mentioned yesterday, Pierre's is closed on Wednesdays. Yep. Let's just shove these fish in here for now in case I pull another treasure chest. Someone comes here, obliterates the chest. No, my stuff! All the fish just are escaping back into the river. That's a catfish. Goodbye. <laughs> it's not as frustrating though as is a multiplayer where the game does not pause while you're fishing and you're just spending like you know you could end up like an hour plus in game time during that struggle and then still fail hey leo shout out your fishing one does Chest. All right. It's gonna be a shan. It. Oh my goodness. Uh, no, my chest. My my free stuff. Um, the government. Please, please stop struggling. I need this stuff. Cost me more than I need you. Chub. I'm out of practice. Oh, good. Another Gia. <laughs> Just for that chub, I'm going to eat you. You go to hell in my belly. As you get better with fishing, you're able to cast your line further out, and you'll find uh, 
higher quality fish further from shore. Hello, catfish. Have a good one. So considering how I struggle with that chop, who knows, right? You also have some influence over where your line is being cast. As you cast it, like how I move that further there, as opposed to it just being straight ahead. And that can help you catch bubbles. You want to have the fish bite long and hard and fast. Wouldn't find catfish in the ocean had I gone there to fish in the ocean. Remember, the higher your fishing skill, the larger the bar is. I'm just going to eat this shit. I can do that. It's my birthright. I was promised. Throw that into the trash. You can make mild use of the trash items. Clearly the problem was that I wasn't, wasn't zoomed in as much. Some driftwood? That's actually a gift that Leah likes. At least. If not loves. She does sculpting. Yeah, she is a woodworker. Alright. We're going to start having evening and night fish come out. No, I'm eating my profits. It's okay, we're also leveling up the fishing skill. So there I was. In the rain. As I have been for 12 hours. Soggy blueprints, soggy jeans. This fish fucking with me. Stupid chub. Broken CD. Can't even say. Right. I mean, you could. The mayor just doesn't pay you for anything. Nor should he, really. He's like, I'm not looking for broken CDs. Come on, man. I'll pay for fiber. I'll pay for clay. Pay for wood. Get out of here with that. How's it going? You, you, you doing all right? You, you come here often? You're going to continue to come here often. I can tell. I can feel it down in my plums. You, th you, you thought I had the catfish there, right? Like, oh wow, that bar is so close. And then catfish ascended to heaven. Kermit knew. Kermit's played a few hours of this video game. Perhaps if my bar had been bigger. It's always about a bigger bar. One of those days.
Here we go. We've got a catfish. Nice. You live there in hell. <laughs> Of course, the most experience is if you can get a treasure chest and a perfect edge. We'll take the treasure. Then bait. Well, if I had a fishing pole that could use bait, then we could make use of that. Just eat this. I'm not. It's always a, a frustrating thing where you're just sitting there and waiting, and then after a long time, some seaweed or green algae comes your way, and you're like, son of a bitch. I slaved this hard for this. Get out of here, catfish. You're wasting my fucking energy. And my life. Inventory. Uh, we can leave the bait behind. We'll take the fish with us. The bait and the driftwood. We could have another cast, but you don't want to move too slow. You don't want to get down there real far. I get like a little sad face there, and it's just dismal. Remember, like casting that line where we would not have spent all 12 energy. It's okay. Good thing I already cleared this path before, because I definitely don't have the tools to, to do it now. One sickle would not save me. Well, I left something over there, apparently. Okay. Let's sell these... I'm not selling the catfish, though it doesn't look like the UI mod's telling me I'm going to need it for anything. Huzzah! That's the remuxed bundles. More on those later. Yeah, again, I like to just keep one of everything on hand. Reasons. Even keeping two leaks. Reasons. I'm over here, grab whatever it is I left behind. The pine cone. Hey. Use that to make more snacks. You can also plant these acorn, maple seeds, and pine cones to uh, grow more of these tree types. Which I definitely do like to do. Because then you can industry them. Papa loves him some industry. <laughs> Am I fishing tomorrow? Maybe. Carry this stuff with us for now. Guess I'll take the watering can with me too. Okay. You can change the color of the chest. That used to not be a thing in the game. They know that Santa's on his way. Remember that spring three. Yo.
Finally get to dry off. <laughs> After being in the rain for 16 fucking hours. Something like that. Attract a couple of indoor times. The bad. Level 2 fishing, so that we can craft bait. Level 3 fishing, so we can craft crab pots. And we can use the bait in and dish of the sea. A dish we can cook that will buff our fishing score. Our skill. A little bit of gold? Ah, oh, it was meant to be. 777. Seven, seven. I win the slot machine. Jackpot, baby.